What's up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and I am here today with the review for The Real Housewives of Potomac, Season 7, Episode 6, you guys. The episode is titled, Burning and Beefing. All right, you guys, so before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel, and you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, and you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know you can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, and also giving me a big thumbs up, you guys. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's discuss Real Housewives of Potomac, shall we? So, you guys, we picked this episode up where we left off with Hey Arnold, Stewie, and Candace, you know, Candace reading the hell out of her, right? Hey Arnold, Stewie just blows my spirit. <laughs> I can't stand her big football head ass. I can't stand Ashley. Ashley did that shit intentionally. She knew what the fuck she was doing. Because if you guys looked at Ashley, Ashley had a smirk on her face and Ashley was smiling the entire time. So that big football head helper knew what she was doing, right? But Candace hit her with the, your husband leaves you, goes down to such and such, whoever the guy's name is, and sucks his dick. Karen was like, no, I'm sick to my stomach. We're not sucking dicks. It's, 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 one, it's Michael Darby, so we can kind of believe it. So, hey, Arnold Stewie says, you know, I hear everything about Michael. I process it and I deal with it. Do you now? Do you? Okay. Then she's talking about Candace is deflecting. Girl, deflecting from what? Can't Chris was not looking as strong faced as Deborah. Girl, go to hell. So we see them that there's you know some of the ladies are starting to walk out, right? Why do we get back to the sprinter van and boy Robin is still in that damn sprinter van? I was like, girl, I know you lying. She's like her, her Uber was 30 minutes out. I'm like, girl, you ain't got no damn Uber. You ain't got no damn Uber. Production told you you couldn't leave until that scene was filmed, finished filming. Go to hell. Go to hell in a handbasket. So then we see Hey Arnold Stewie. So she's talking to Wendy, right? And Wendy's just talking to her about what just happened. So Hey Arnold Stewie wants to go on and say that, you know, she brought that up because Candace is talking about the fact that Giselle brought this situation to the group and I was like so what the hell does that have to do with you if you heard something about Chris why not pull Candace to the side and say hey because you did it before you did it when you thought Chris was jumping into your DMs you went to Candace separately and talked to her right what was the big difference like what and then she's like and even Mia said Mia is a lying ass heifer lying ass Mia is what we call her lying ass Mia like girl a lying ass Mia was lying. So then we see Candace. So Candace and Saturn's rings, they're talking, right? So she's telling, you know, she's like, oh, have you saw the view? It's lovely. <laughs> That's what Candace said, right? So Candace is talking to Saturn's rings and she's like, you know, I just kind of want to get some clarity on what happened, right? Because you say that Chris made you feel uncomfortable. And she says, yes. So what did Chris say? What did Chris do that made you feel uncomfortable, right? And so devil's advocate here, right? I can see both sides of this coin. I can understand her feeling some sense of uncomfortability being in a room with a married man. I understand that, right? But then where you lose me at is you want to say he left the room. He didn't do anything to you. So when he found out you when he when you when you verbalized to him that you were uncomfortable he left but then she wants to say oh, excuse me y'all so then she wants to say that she he talking about leaving the door open well if he wants it well if he said leave the door open then he knew it was inappropriate girl what it you you're acting as if this man said Giselle let me get you in this room so I can take them panties off and you know go to town on that on that kitty cat, right? That's what she's acting like. And Candace was like, so there was no malintent in this, right? And she says, no. 
So you're you're making it seem like it's malintent that he lured you into the room. She said there was I didn't say lure. You didn't have to say he lured you into the room. It's the implication. Like you do realize that you're implying that. But also with 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 her, the story has changed, right? You're you're implying that he knew that your glam squad, which what glam squad first and foremost, he knew that your glam squad wasn't in the room. Then he took he took you in a room. You felt and again, I'm not taking away from her feeling uncomfortable. I don't want to do that. I'm not doing that. But if someone makes you so uncomfortable, why would you want to be around them, right? If someone makes you physically uncomfortable, I'm not going to want to see you in any capacity. But at spring party, you, you gave him a big hug. So she's full of shit. She is so full of shit. And I'm so glad that Candace said to her that you were intentional with doing this. Because you have my number. You could have called me. You could have told me this off camera. But you waited to bring it on camera. And exactly. That's exactly what that bad wig wearing last lady of Potomac brought. She's talking about, she's, you know, and Candace was like, you're the reason why so many women don't come out with their sexual abuse claims. I'm the reason why women, yes, there are women like you who make it hard. There are some women and, and women and men. It's, I'm not going to say just women. It's women and men who's, who will claim one thing. Especially now, we know that sexual abuse is, is more common with women, but it does happen with men, right? But even still, when it comes to women and men, if a, especially if a man comes out about sexual abuse, he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a weak man. He's this, he's that, right? When it comes to a woman, people be like, oh, the woman is lying. And in this situation, you're going with what most people say about women. Oh, she's just lying. He wouldn't do that to her. And it's so interesting how a lot of us are defending Chris, who's a white man. But right is right and wrong is wrong. I, Giselle would, I would tell Giselle to kiss my whole ass. I would literally start to kiss my whole entire ass. But let's pause here and let's move forward, you guys. All right, you guys. So next up, let's talk about Hey Arnold Stewie. I really don't want to talk about her because her storyline is B-U-L-L-S-H-I-T. That's what it is. It's crap. It's crap. It's nothing real about her storyline. So she's going to see an attorney, right? She's not getting a divorce. I don't know. Like... I guess Nicki Minaj must have struck a nerve with her at the reunion last season when Nicki told her she doesn't have a storyline. But my isn't my family my storyline? No, because we don't like you and we barely like your family. But okay, <laughs> go off. So yeah, she's talking to this attorney um, about this proposal that, girl, you would be a dumb fool if it's not real, so I'm not even I'm, I'm not even gonna give her the time of day to say you would be a dumb fool if you let this man create a proposal for you. But hey, she's not getting a divorce. She's not getting a divorce. She's not getting a divorce. Ashley, big football head ass, is playing in y'all's face, not mine. I didn't believe it when I saw it months ago on Twitter, Instagram, and all that shit. I didn't believe it then. I don't believe it now. If Ashley's big football head ass did not leave when that man was caught in a hotel room with another woman, what made you think she's leaving now? Just asking. Hmm. Um. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Nope. Because I, I I don't believe her. I don't believe Ashley. No part of my spirit, my soul, my brain, nothing believes. Trashly, Darby, Hair Arnold Stewie, Football Head, whatever you want to call it up. And Trashly Darby, shout out to um, Erica for that one. I love when she calls her Trashly Darby. Um, So let's pause here and move on from that helpful. I heard you guys, so next up, let's talk about Wendy real quick, right? So we see Wendy and she's talking to Eddie, right? 
So, you know, she's journaling and she's, you know, journaling about the things that make her happy. That actually sounds like a good thing to do. Just write down the things in your life that bring you joy and happiness. That actually does sound like something I, I could do. Thank you for that one, Wendy. So then they talk about this Jamaican restaurant, bar, um, you know, babysitter's club thing that she wants to do. So Eddie doesn't feel like it's a good idea because he feels that it'll just stretch her thin, basically, right? And he feels like it'll be too much. And she says, you know what, you're right. So she's going to put it on pause. So then she tells him about the burn session and how all hell broke loose and how, you know, she was the first person to go. And then he asked her, did she take any kind of accountability? And she said, yes, she did take accountability, right? So then she tells him that Mia has invited them all to Miami. You know, if Mia invited me on the trip, would I go to Miami? Hell no. I literally would not go. I just don't. There's just nothing I trust when it comes to lying ass Mia. I just don't trust lying ass Mia. But let's pause here and move forward, you guys. All right, you guys. So next up, we got Saturn's Rings, Boy Robin, and Hey Arnold Stewie. They're going shopping for tr clothes for the trip to Miami. Now, I will say one nice thing about Saturn's rings. There were some out that orange little outfit that she had on. I was like, now that's cute. But then she came out with this other, it looked like it was floral on the top and something else on the bottom. I was like, girl, what the fuck is that? Ugh. Okay, girl. So they're talking, right? So you guys remember Boy Robin, she stormed out. So she doesn't know what happened after she left out going off on Wendy, right? So, she is, they're, they're catching her up, and they're telling her about how Candace said that Michael sucks some man, some big name escort there, I guess, in the Maryland, D.C., whatever area, right? And she, he sucks his dick. So, Boy Robin says that Candace told her that a few years ago. So, then Ashley is talking about the fact that um, the Hobbit is in the Bahamas. I was like, girl, when he just in Vegas? When is he ever home? But you know what? I would never want to see Michael ever in life, right? So then she talks about this LLC. That's not really an LLC. I was like, girl, what? So it's not an LLC? Girl, you don't know what you... You can't keep up with your lies. This is why I say she is lying through her fucking teeth. Ashley Darby is not getting a divorce. If you guys believe it, go for it. So then they also talk about Chris, right? And the fact that Chris has been tweeting about them. Chris is defending himself. What's the problem? Y'all want to assassinate his character. So the man goes on social media and he says what he wants to say about you guys. What's the problem? And Saturn's is like, I don't ever have to talk to that man, Chris, again. Girl, I'm pretty sure the feeling is mutual, boo. I'm pretty sure he don't want to talk to you ever again either. Ugh. <laughs> And then Giselle has out saying that, you know, Candace is going to come for Ashley. Girl, she's coming for you, too. Okay. Whatever. So let's pause here and wrap up the episode. Child, the fact that I'm wrapping up the episode with Lion Ass Mia. So Lion Ass Mia is meeting up with um, Jacqueline and Sharice. Bravo. I have one question for you. And one question only. Why are y'all forcing Sharice's boring ass on us? Sharice is like wet paint drying. Sharice is like a dead fish. So, um, lying ass Mia is inviting Sharice and Jacqueline on the trip, right? So, you know, lying ass Mia tells us that she and Jacqueline, you know, they're best friends. And at first, Jacqueline hated her. I'm like, and she currently hates you too. <laughs> Baby, I would know. I don't understand how Mia has any friends whatsoever. I would never be friends with Mia. Mia is just a disgusting person, in my personal opinion. If anybody likes Mia out there, hey, I'm so sorry to you, but I don't like your girl. The, she's a liar. Now, here's what blew me. Was the fact that lying as Mia gave Sharice and Jacqueline the options to pick their rooms I said, but they're not even, they don't even go here. Like, they don't go here. They're just visiting. 
honestly, mm, I can see what Bravo is trying to do in Bravo. Please, for the love of God, don't do it. Don't y'all try to X out, push out Wendy or Candace for Sharice. That a, we, I mean, majority of the fandom does not like Sharice. Like, I was looking at Twitter last night and so many people do not like Sharice. So, Mia likes Sharice because, you know, her name has two R's and two S's in it. And she likes the fact that her eyelashes, they look like they sliding off her face all the time and she doesn't give a fuck. And when they show Sharice in that interview, Sharice just looked like she was bored. I was like, girl, smile. <sighs> so I found it interesting that Jacqueline's mother fostered Mia, and Mia and Jacqueline are on bad terms with each other. I'm like, girl. Say what now? <laughs> okay. I don't know how you can follow up with somebody. Never mind. That ain't got nothing to do with me. So we find out that the house that they're staying in is only six bedrooms, but it's nine women. So that means somebody. So that means some of them are gonna have to share a, a room with each other. Girl, I be damn. So we see them, and they at the airport, right? Can we ban Ashley from TikTok, please? And thank you. I just, I just get sick of seeing her and them TikTok dances. Ugh, she's always on my timeline. Like she was just, she was at that guy's Luke's. I don't know who Luke is. I just know that she's been linked with Luke. What he's he's from one of those Bravo shows, is it's it's either Summer House or Winter House. I don't know which one it is, but she was at his house doing a TikTok. I'm like, oh my god, girl. The day that they let that big head helper get TikTok was the worst day ever. So, um, <laughs> Karen, when she saw Cherise, she smiled on her face, and then when she turned around, that smile went damn. I was like, exactly, Karen. That's exactly how I feel it every time I see Sharice, right? So they make it to the house. It's a small house. It's not on the beach. I was just like, a, okay. So Mia named all the rooms after stripper phrases or movies, right? So Boy Robin and Saturn's Rings, they're going to be in the room called Hustlers. Karen is in Potomac Tees. Hey, Arnold Stewie is in the Players Club. And um, Wendy and Ken, excuse me, uh, Wendy and Candace are in Show Wives, and then Mia and Jacqueline are in Queen of Diamonds. I was like, the last time I checked, it was King of Diamonds, right? Lil Wayne said it best: "Live on Sunday, King of Diamonds Monday." Maybe there is a Queen of Diamonds. I don't know. So Cherise saw her room and she didn't like it. My room doesn't have a bathroom in it. And you know, I sleep naked and I snore. Girl, TMI. The last thing I ever wanted to know about Cherise is that she sleeps naked. Oh, oh. Girl, I would, that is one visual that I don't need. That is one visual I don't need, right? So Cherise, girl, go home. You're, you don't go here. You're just visiting. God, I really hope and pray that they do not give her a flute next season. So they eat. Did Jacqueline clock Mia? Because, baby, I've been telling y'all, I think that Jacqueline and Mia done, done some things together. They, done, they, they have done some things and probably done some things with G. I'm just saying. They have done some things together, right? So, I thought Hey Arnold Stewie said she wasn't drinking anymore, right? You see that big head helper. Oh, God, the way she chugs down a Corona. And I love me some Coronas and a dose. I love me a Corona or a dose egg, right? But the way I, when I see that big head helper chug down a Corona, it just repulses my spirit. Mm. Girl, it just repulses me. Now, here's my... Here, now... I know Saturn's rings and board I'm like, why do we have to share a room together, right? It's something that they've been doing since season one, right? But here's the thing that blew me, and it blows me with the fans too, right? Last season, everybody was so upset with Mia, not Mia, but with Wendy and the room situation when they went on the on the final cast trip, right? 
where the letters got tossed, right? Y'all were mad at that room that Wendy put those two in. At least they didn't share a bed. You got Wendy and Candace sleeping in a room together, sharing a fucking bed. Ain't no way I'm, I, no, unless we are in a relationship or family. Like I'll share, I, I, with my family, I don't care, they're my family. I don't care about sharing a bed with my family members. I don't care about sharing a room with my family members, but if it's a, if, if we're not in a relationship or we're not friend, like we're not best friends, I don't want to, well, I'm not going to share a bed with my best friend because she's married, so that we would never do. But like, no, absolutely not. Like, go, go to hell. So the ladies are getting ready to go out for dinner and when did Patricia become friends with Mia? So Patricia says that he got beef with Wendy. Patricia, girl, damn it. Patricia, girl, we don't want you back in any housewives capacity. Your peach was removed. Once you got divorced from Cynthia, you lost your peach girlfriend. We don't want you to get a champagne flute. We don't need you to have a champagne flute. Bye, Patricia. We had enough of you on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But that's it, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Drop down in the comment section and let me know what you guys thought about it. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications. Share the video, you guys. And until the next time, stay safe out there, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Be blessed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.